What's good, y'all? Yeah? Kalo here. And um, and as we start this video, I'm really asking that the right person, the right person who will, who will be here, who will really feel this message is who is found. You see, I started seeing videos by Dodash and oh my God, she inspired me. I always have this sort of idea that whatever I'm doing has to be perfect. Like I can see it in my mind, how it should be laid out. And I take in so much information because I want to be the best. I want to be able to do the best. I want, I want to be able to do it right. I want to be able to do it right. And uh, fuck, <laughs> doing it right just, it, it, it hardly is what it feels like it, it's supposed to be. It's like an illusion. It's a great illusion of doing it right. You can only really see doing it right from a third person perspective when you see someone else do something that you think is amazing. That person in their head doesn't think the thing they did is amazing because they see all the flaws. They see this, they see that, they see the, the inconsistencies, the insecurities, they see all of that shit. But doing it right is not meant for the first person. It's, 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 just, it's just a little rough guideline for someone else who might be interested. That's it. It's a little rough guideline to look at and be like, oh, cool, that's interesting. I wanna try that out. What are the steps? That's all doing it right is. It's just a couple of steps. But once you understand the steps, you end up breaking them. And that's when you excel. And uh, I feel like I'm supposed to do this shit right and just be a music creator and just be on this channel making music. But I don't know. The, the, the thing that wants to be made ends up being made and often it's not the thing that I thought it was going to be. And and watching Dodash's videos is just opening up my mind to the idea of just coming on and talking with people and talking to people and having this sort of an experience where it's, it's a little more intimate and we're not really trying to force anything to be pretty, fancy, whatever. We're just here talking, having a bit of a conversation conversation which is going to continue in the comments and hopefully in the community tab i really hope that some of you artists will be down to start posting some of your art over there showing people what you do because that would be hella dope that'd be hella dope um but yeah that, that this video is sort of a free form video to see where things go and you know what uh, before things seem to go too far in any direction i actually wanted to share I wanted to share a song that I started working on today and I, my idea for this song was I would make something that starts off with a bass element and the bass element sort of brings, conjures up the ideas for absolutely every other element and next thing you know I got the track that I'm about to show you and there's a B section which is just this beautiful open section. Alright here let me, let me get that rolling. One, two, three. Ain't fucking around. I wanted them pounds. I wanted them bricks. I know it's in bound. Yeah. Demon is me. Demon is yeah. I do a sailor. I can be found. Flows and melodies give me the crown. My stolen energy is stuck around. They did it discreet. You with no peep. Phone did it for the whole damn week. I made it the beats and they go like me. So important, you know it's lit. Uh, yeah. yeah. If I ever touch a pony, my opponents match a bone in. My ghost tell me to get on this. My folks haven't left a coma. I'm that nigga and that bitch like T said. I won't settle on it that ain't breathing. Tryna take me off my balance. My mind palace got it in a free hit. Supersonic, trooper tonic. I ain't settled down till I see my dreams ahead. Book of comments like I wrote a song. Another level now, cause that means I'm blessed. She left comments on the weekend. Wish what we had could have deepened. Baby, you're so blessed. Got me feeling kinda stressed. What did you do? Wish I could have been real Wish I could have been there when you had a heal Hey, um I just want to call to tell you that I'm sorry for the way that I treated you I'm sorry for, you know, just not really being there Just, just being in my head all the time My computer just crashed and honestly that, that sucked a lot But you know what, we're back And I just wanted to say, like like there's no way that this is this is it, right? I know I I feel it. I'm pretty sure you feel it as well. Th this can't just be it. There's got to be a lot more. There's got like what is the missing element? There's something that just does not sit properly. And 
and and there's so many answers given there's so many like life paths given there's so many this this is the road that i had traveled and we've adapted it to this 21st century so you should travel this road and you'll get to the thing but then we look at the people who have gone through those situations and what what do we see a lot of sadness a lot of grief so that can't be right that can't be right you're a middle manager you don't like living something is missing and i'm just I, I wish i could understand what it is i've taken in so many weird different concepts to try to understand it to try to relate to to try to relate to that empty feeling within to try to be able to go deeply enough and i just you know sometimes it feels like it sometimes sometimes i, I feel connected and good and i can really see the elements of life that are beautiful and then it just disappears it, it feels like it dissipates into the ambient environment to use such an odd phrase such a turn of phrases or whatever um but yeah it just <laughs> what is that element does anyone know if you know please leave a comment i'm not sure I've just gone around to many different avenues trying to understand things and I'm left wanting. Like right now, one of the biggest things that I'm trying to figure out is how do I get to the point where a physical location uh, and an as set hours do not denote value do not mean I get paid a certain amount. Like, how can I decouple the idea of value that I provide from a physical set time and location? Because when you have it set up with a physical set time and location, you can only make so much per hour. But if you decouple that, instead it becomes you have this thingy here. And you make enough of these thingies and people just like consume those thingies or people just take on services with those thingies or, or something. And those thingies cause you to have some sort of profit. And when I say thingies, I mean things like books. I mean things like uh, uh, media, it's just like just in general, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that can be created. Uh, products can be a thing. Uh, but then, of course, if you have products, now you need to have employees and now you're taking their time and causing them to be in this sort of a cycle unless you pay them good. And now their time is, is, is actually feeling like it's it's being used uh, properly by them. Um, but that doesn't always happen. And so I'm trying to figure out a way that I can decouple that. And I'm an artistic person, so I feel like this, something should just like show up. Something is, is just going to end up working at some point, but right now I just can't see what it is. I'm looking through, I'm looking through a tunnel darkly and I, I feel like I, I see the vision of where it will be, but I'm still forced to look at it darkly and keep going in pain. I don't know. Do you know? Do we know? Does anyone have the answers? Because I know I do not have the answers. I just have questions upon questions upon questions upon theories upon, upon hypotheses. <laughs> I don't know. Like one thing that I can, that I feel for sure is certain is that the fact that I am feeling this uh, emotional state right now means that somebody else is feeling it and not just somebody else because there are seven billion human beings on this planet so somebody else is there are many people that feel lost right now to different levels of extreme there's definitely someone who who, who resonates and understands this message exactly as i am saying it and there's going to be people who don't and i'm hoping and i'm praying that the people who do end up finding it but you never know um but yeah <laughs> i don't know maybe i should just be like looking at past lyrics that i've wrote and written in the past month because that's probably going to have some sort of message because i find that a lot of the things that um a lot of the things that i'm feeling could probably easily be revealed in my lyrics um in art in general i guess it's just all there like 
<laughs> it's just all there uh, anyways I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do I know I have work in like an hour and 15 minutes well I'll be heading to work in an hour and 15 minutes no 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 that is actually when I work oh shit no I'm gonna be heading to work soon uh, I'll catch y'all later <laughs>